We're at Eastern Kentucky University's John Grant Crabb Main Library today. I'm Debbie Whalen, here to lead you on a tour of Special Collections and Archives. Special Collections and Archives is located on the first floor of the library. We're in room 126, right across from the main staircase. We collect primary and secondary sources to support the research needs of EKU students, faculty, and the community. While our collections generally focus on Kentucky subjects, national and global topics are also represented. This is our main desk where you sign in and get reference help. To the left is the John Wilson Townsend Reading Room, named in honor of the local writer and book collector whose materials Eastern purchased in 1929 to establish the archives. The Reading Room has Eastern yearbooks, family history materials, and files on Kentucky people, places, and events. Because many of our materials are one of a kind, they must be used on site, and this is where you do that. Now let's take a look behind the scenes where the majority of our collections are held. On this set of shelves, we have our book collection, also known as Special Collections. Our book collection is different from the rest of the libraries for several reasons. For one, our books are mostly about Kentucky or by Kentucky authors, or they are rare books. The shelves through here are where we store some of our manuscript collections and university archives. The manuscript collections have organizational records such as publications and meeting notes. They also have personal papers such as scrapbooks, letters, and journals. The university archives document the history of EKU. This can include photographs, memorabilia, documents, and more. You'll notice that this shelving is movable. Called compact shelving, these help us store more materials. We have 1.9 miles of shelves. In these sets of drawers are cassette tapes that are part of the William H. Burge Oral History Center. We have over 4,500 oral history interviews covering subjects such as Kentucky politics, education, local communities, and veterans. Heading down this way, we have more compact shelving that is used to store films such as Madison High Football and EKU football and basketball games. More manuscripts and records are this way. Some other materials of interest include those we store in drawers, file cabinets, and oversized shelves. Oversized items could include maps, newspapers, posters, or photographs. These file cabinets contain information on EKU history by topic. The types of items found here include newspaper clippings, programs, and more. Back this way, we have some of our films and photos stored in a freezer. These materials have preservation issues and will remain here until a conservator can look at them. Finally, here's our HVAC system, which helps preserve our collections by maintaining steady temperature and humidity. The ideal environment is about 70 degrees and 45% humidity. Thank you for joining us on this tour, and we look forward to helping you with your future research needs.